Hey guys, uh, we're going to be solving systems of equations by adding or subtracting. Uh, this is also known as the elimination method. If you <clears throat> have a system of equations, which may look like this, the first thing you want to do is look at um, the coefficient in a variable that looks very similar, or basically like either exactly the same or are opposites, what we call like additive inverse, if you will. You've got positive 3y or, or plus 3y, you've got negative 3y, so these would work. So the method that you would use for this would be, instead of subtracting, you would want to add them. Because if you added these two together, what would happen is they would cancel each other out. And then all you have left is 4x plus x, which is 5x. 1 plus negative 11 is negative 10. And then you would just solve it as a two-step equation. I'm sorry, not a two-step, as a one-step equation. So we would just divide both sides by 5. And then we get x equals negative 2. So once you find the value for x, you can find the value for y fairly simple. Just take the value for x and plug it in to one of the x x values in one of the equations. So it could be this one or this one. Either one would work, but let me just show you both just so that you you can see that it does work. Okay. So if I rewrite this equation, let me write the other one down too on this side. So this one's going to be uh, negative 2 minus 3y equals negative 11. Alright, so this is negative 8 plus 3y equals 1 Add 8 to both sides to cancel it out. 3y equals 9. Y equals 3. Okay, so you can see it works. I kind of I did it quickly just so you can see it works. Here I'm gonna do it a little bit slower. So just so I'm not leaving anybody behind here. Um, so uh, the opposite of minus 2 is adding 2. We're gonna add 2 to both sides. This cancels out. We have negative 3y left over on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, negative, two plus, negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. Then divide both sides by negative 3. And then y equals 3. So you can see that it doesn't matter if you plug it in here or plug it in here. It's going to work out either way. You're still going to get y equals 3. So the solution... Remember, the solution is where both these lines cross each other on the coordinate plane. So they're going to cross each other at that ordered pair, at, at negative 2, 3, is where they're going to cross each other at. That's going to be the solution. So that's the answer. Another one we can do is um, very similar, but the difference here, this, this one is going to be a little bit uh, more like subtracting. So you're going to see why here in a second. So if you've got this system here, if you notice, 3x, you have the same exact variable and coefficient. Um, so if you, you can't really add these because if you add them, this becomes 6x. This would not cancel out. This would become like negative 1y, and this would become 31. And so you really want, don't want wanna, you don't want to add this because it'll just throw you into utter chaos, basically. Uh, so that's not going to work. So what you want to do is you want to subtract. So we're not using the adding. We're not going to eliminate it by adding. We're going to eliminate it by subtracting. How, however, here's the kicker. The kicker is this. If you subtract it, you can't just subtract the 3x. You have to subtract everything. Everything's got to be subtracted away from the top one. So what that means is that negative, that negative or that minus sign, if you will, applies to everything inside of this parentheses. So what you could do is you could just simply do it this way. You can say 3x minus 3x is 0. y minus negative 2y. You see how I said that? y minus negative 2y or minus 2y. Those two negatives, those two minuses, if you will, counter each other. It's like a negative times a negative. It's a positive. So it's basically y plus 2y. It's 3y. And then 23 minus 8 is 15. Now that might be difficult for some, so here's an alternative. Here's what you can do. If you're going to subtract 
what I would suggest you do is just rewrite the problem. So the top is going to stay the same. Just rewrite the bottom, change all the signs. So that you see how this is a positive 3x, make that a negative 3x, or a minus 3x. You see how that's minus 2y, make that a plus 2y. Okay, you see how that's positive 8, make that a minus 8, or a negative 8. So what I do is I apply the negative to each, each term, and it changes the sign of each term. Now I can solve it. This becomes 0, this becomes 3y, and this becomes 20. Which makes no sense because that's <laughs> that's 23. My brain is fried apparently. Okay, that's 15. My bad. All right, I make mistakes. I make a lot of them. Okay, anyways, so we solve for y. We divide both sides by three. This is just a one-step equation. Y equals five. Now, in order to find out what x is, just simply plug this in. Or uh, I'm sorry, where y is to find out what x is. And so we're going to get 3x plus 5 equals 23. Then you just subtract 5 from both sides. 3x equals 18. Then you divide both sides by 3. x equals 6. So the solution is going to be 6, 5. That's it. That's the solution. Um, I will do two more uh, examples of this um, in my next video. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you have any other, any other questions. I apologize if I, if I talk a lot, if I mess up here and there. Just to show you, it goes to show you that I am not perfect, but I do try to catch my mistakes in time. Um, so God bless. Godspeed. See you guys later. Bye-bye.